So I'm looking at the bracket here, right? I'm looking at the top four here, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm feeling really confident. I'm gonna fucking knock your dick in the ground. You hear me? Really, buddy? You're gonna get fucking dominated, bro. How about you oh, haunt I'm this dick, bro? You Actually, over, you know what? This dick gonna, gonna haunt you, buddy. My dick and your huge pussy. Oh my god! Oh I'm my go huge pussy! <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> huge <laughs> pussy! <laughs> Are you serious? You. Do you hear this shit, Savage? DQ with this fattest. It's time to start the duel, of course. We're gonna go over the rules real fast. Rogue Druid Night Elves cannot be in stealth longer than 45 seconds. No buffs outside of your own buffs. We are allowing potions to spice up the duel. Maybe a little bit of outplay here and there. So healing potion, mana potion, and swiftness potions are allowed. Uh, you can choose one per duel. Only one per duel, okay? Rogues are allowed to use Thistle Tea. Warriors are allowed to use Rage Potions. Warlocks are allowed to use Hellstones. Stones. Profession gears and items are allowed. The ones listed here, of course, such as Engineering Item, Bandages, Anti-Venom. Leather, cloth gear, on use, of course. You're only allowed to use one stack of food and water that our major provide us. This is to prevent you guys from using higher level food that might cheese out and make the duels longer. Failing to follow these rules will disqualify you. Do not use anything, okay? That being said, ladies and gentlemen, round one. We have Oni Kudaki versus Murukukusho. These are the participants. Round of applause for them, chat. We will have some gambas going on. Ladies and gentlemen, Oni Kudaki versus Muruku Tenkai. Flag has in place. Druid versus Warlock. I'm not sure which angle this is gonna go. They're both very strong classes. Muruku Kusho in stealth. It did look like the Warlock was about to pump there. There is that big damage coming through. Moonfire combination into a Wrath. And the dots are ticking. The suck is already on. He's using a Swiftness Potion. Oh my goodness, I'm too far away. I'm trying to catch up. There is the Root as well. The Fear is going through. He tries to range it, but the Fear does land. But the suck, Drain Life, does cut short there. Miracle dangerously high health. Not doing a lot of damage here. He will need to get a heal off or something though. He's He is getting low. There is that fear coming through. Another interrupt. Another root coming through. Fear being casted one more time. This will be a DR fear though, however. So it might cut loose. Mercury getting very low. There is that potion. Until a rejuve. Throwing a little dynamite here. He needs to get a big heal off or he will die. The drain life is still taking for 8 seconds. There's that dynamite combination. And the first round goes to Oni Kudaki. Standing at 100% health. Will Muriel Kusho be able to pull this off? Yeah, for the guys that were saying Warlock suck, there it is. You have one more round, chat. We'll let them mana up. Here we go. Round two flag has been placed, ladies and gentlemen. Stealth going through. I'm not sure if Libby wants to put his little pet out because we can see where he's going <laughs> with his little pet and there it is the haunt is on little wrath with the root trying to max range much as possible but the dual range is not that big here there's an escape artist on the root insane play by the mr oni there's that d curse into rejuve getting some big heals off Big fear landing breaks early. Luckily for Libby, but very hard to pull this life sucking juice monster. He needs to get it off. If he ranges it, it does cut, but the range is insanely large. He finally managed to get it off. Miracle getting dangerously low on mana here. Will he get these damage off to put pressure on the Oni? He still has his pet, he still has his candy. He is doing some damage now. Muryoku doing his best to range. But it is looking difficult for him. There's that potion usage as well. Oh, he's getting he's doing some damage, putting some pressure. There's that stun, but he's oom. Um, there's that sacrifice coming through as well. And down goes the Mu Ryukusho. Oni Kudaki taking that first W. There's that respectful bow. Give me some round of applause. For the first matchup and Oni walking his way out as the winner.
Next, we have No Merciless versus Mutalisk, ladies and gentlemen. Who will take this victory, chat? Same matchup, same Voidwalker. He is starting out with the regrowth and a rejuve already using 30% of the mana. There's that big damage coming through from the get-go. And No Mercy trying to close the gap to just juice it up and suck him dry. But Mutalisk doing so much damage, already pressuring that Voidwalker usage. The sacrifice going through. Mutalisk is burning through the mana, however. The first fear lands and breaks early. His shield's already gone. No Merciless is forced to use his Hellstone here. Mila's dangerously low here. Does he have a potion or something in the lair? But down he goes. No, taking the first win. And we'll see how the round two goes. All right, flag has in place. My cat is attacking me. What's up, Mimi? And Mutalisk in the prowl, ready to open. On this little gnome, there is a combination once again on the regrowth and rejuve combination. Trying to get all those heals ticked on, fighting against this evil suck of the goo Dan. There's that fear coming through, landing a full fear, but breaks early. All the fears have been breaking early in this uh, season of discovery for some reason. Might be a retail seed or something. There's a second fear landing, breaks a little early as well. The life train is just sucking him. Gnome is forced to use his Hellstone. There is that sacrifice. No, Mutalisk is doing a lot better than the first match here. He might actually take this win. The shield is gone now. He just has to burn through. No Mutalisk. There's that big potion, however, and another big drain life. And Mutalisk falling down. And Gnome going up. There it is, boys. Second round. Done. No mercy. Moving up in the lair. Alright, round two, chat. We have Noose versus Zellem. Alright, the duel starts. Noose already tossing his Avenger shield. And the explosive sheep slowly walking up to Noose. What will Noose do? Noose takes down the sheep immediately or exploded on Noose, doing a little bit of damage. There's that first frostbolt. Zell bubbles. The Frostbolt. Interesting play there. There's that Swiftness Potion onto Trinket trying to catch up to Noose. But there's that another Poly landing. Oh, he doesn't have a Bubble now. Might be a little bit dangerous, but Noose is getting a little bit low here too. There's that Dynamite onto Hodge. Blinks out of the stun. There's that Frostbolt landing. And regenning health a little bit. Noose does look a little weak on the mana here. He still has Evocation, however. Zell getting very low here. There's a Seal of Crusader into Seal of Command combination. Zell might want to switch his weapon. He's still playing Sword and Board here, not doing the optimal damage he might be able to. And Noose just slowly kiting away Zell, but Zell using that Lay on Hand. It might look like a little reset angle for Noose. How will Noose play this out? Noose going for that Polymorph into a bandage immediately. Zell has absolutely nothing left now. And Noose will get that drink food off and Zell just sitting that polymorph enjoying his life as a sheep there is that re-sheep into evocation coming through we'll see if Zell can pull this off he does have freedom and a stun with the avenger shield combination but it might be difficult with not a lot of mana left there's that first avenger shield freedom coming through he will catch up but he has a blink here there's that blink onto hodge if Zell can catch him now, he will do some damage in there. There is that dynamite landing. And I think that was a possible resist on the Nova. But the second one does land. And Zell looks like he is in trouble. And down goes Zell on the round one. Noose taking this victory. All right. Heal up. And we'll get round two in. All right. The seal is up. And the shield is tossed immediately into a polymorph. Noose does use escape artist. Being aware of the Avenger shield slow. There's that max distance into a little frost bolt. And a proc of frostbite. Unfortunately, there has to be uh, freedom used by Zell. Zell does land a hodge, but instantly blinks out. Not sure if Zell will be able to pull this off. He doesn't have a lot of cooldowns here. I don't know if he has bubble as well. There is that big potion being used and a holy light being casted. 
And there is that kick from Noose. Noose with that combination of damage. Stone form being used. A bandage midway being used. I'm not sure if Zell can pull this off. Maybe a little flashy up or down. Goes the Zell and Noose. Takes the victory. Yeah, no bubble, no trinket. It's extremely hard for Paladins. I feel you there. The reason, there's a reason why I'm uh, hesitating to main Paladin next phase because they just get milked out, ladies and gentlemen. It's not fun getting milked, of course. All right, here we go, boys. Clegg versus Mozzarella Cheese. Here we go. Mozzarella on the prowl, stealthing, Clegg walking around using perception here. And there is that dot opener, mozzarella cheese blasting clay. Clay already dropping to 70%. There is that life drain being used and the curses being applied. Mozzarella now on the clock, but clay taking so much damage here. There is that first fear landing into a trinket immediately and clay just melting. There is that hellstone being used. Mozzarella running out of mana though. Clay getting absolutely blasted. He might have to sacrifice his pet soon here. Mozzarella almost oom. He could definitely win this if he manages his mana well. He does have a pot available still, I believe. Both getting super low here. Clay finally using that sacrifice and down goes Mozzarella. Cheese. Wow. That was a close one. Alright, you guys may drop the flag right in front of me when you are prepared. Or oh, that's fine over there too. Alright, here we go, boys. Round two. Oh, Rain of Fire Clay going hambo over here. But mozzarella cheese. Max distancing. Already blasting Clay. 30% health gone. The roots are applied. He can maybe break this. Oh my goodness, Clay taking so much damage here. And finally breaks that life drain out of the way and just doing so much damage. Click for going for that one second bandage tick. There is that sacrifice being used and the hellstone drain life once again here. But mozzarella cheese might be able to do some damage to pull this off. But so much damage coming from Click. The pressure is so much. There's a heal being used. He needs to cut this life drain off, but it will fade. And there's that new one applied. And mozzarella cheese. It's not looking hard for him, for he is Oom. And Clegg takes the W. Another Warlock, V Druid. Unfortunate for the Druids. Very hard matchup. And Clegg moves up into the ladder, boys. Next, we have Brophysis versus Fat Man. Here we go, chat. Ladies and gentlemen, the duel has started already and that arcane blast spec from Brosy trying to one-shot Bean, but Bean is just doing so much damage, pressuring him already to 40% health. Bro is just melting down here. Bean sipping on something there. And Bro trying to put pressure much as he can. Building some distance. I think they might go for a little reset, but Bean says no and throws a star surge. Not allowing him to reset here. And Bro closing up, being pressured. He can't polymorph because it is a druid. And it does look like Bro is running low. Man, there's an evocation being used. Will this be enough to fight against Bean? He might have to go for a bandage here too. Bean max ranging much as possible. Both stalling the duel out. There is another big star falling on his dome. And it looks like Bro might take the L here, but... He is staying alive much as possible. He's super oom. And Bean is just chucking stars on his head. There is that last heal coming through. He's just last man standing it. And Bean just spamming that big star and moon. And bro goes down. That looked pretty rough. Well fought. One more round to go, boys. Alright, here we go, boys. Both pre-casting hots. 
trying to stay healthy, min maxing, hotting again and drinking again to be max. And bro, now is just playing super aggro on top of a beans to face here. There is that blast coming through, but not doing so much damage onto fat form. Fat form just spamming that moonfire onto bro Sifius. And bro Sifius just taking out of the dome. He might be able to heal it up. Oh my goodness, he's actually putting a lot of pressure on fat form this game. Oh, bro is getting pretty low here. Does he have a potion to pop? Oh, he just goes down. Unfortunate and bean. Takes the win, ladies and gentlemen. Collapse in the chat. And we'll move to the second round. Alright, next we have John Connor versus Red Tao. War v Hunter. You may begin. And there is that charge coming through with the hamstring here, with Sunder Armor being casted. Just in full melee range. With that nice retaliation coming through here. Retal might be able to do this, but he's getting kited out. There is that potion. He needs to get that charge off and gets the charge off into a hamstring with an overpower. John Q retaliating with the potion as well here. This is a little close match. There's a dynamite to catch up and he might take the win. And Retal does take the first win. And his pet is dead from the retaliation. The second match. No retaliation. Can he pull this through? Alright, here we go, boys. Round two. Using that poor orc as a rage battery. Didn't even ask him. Just started swinging at him. There's that charge coming through with the little hamstring. Wing clip being traded. Both slows are applied. The Sunder Armor double take with the overpower. There is that fear. Unlucky. Doesn't get that fear landed on the pet here. Or he might be playing a spec where it's a GG well played guild invitation, but I cancel it. There is that dynamite going through, but not enough to get the John Q. And one to one, ladies and gentlemen. Our last round. And here we go, boys. Round three, our first one to one matchup. He doesn't have his fear available, though. Maybe uh, John Key drinks enough to stall it out and he gets his fear back up so he can fear the pet here. There's that trap and Red Tao in that trap but still moving somehow. There's a Serpent Sting. The distance has been built. Oh, this is not looking good for Mr. Red Tao. Big potion being used. The charge coming back on cooldown. Hamstring being used. Wing Clip being traded. The big dynamite coming through but not enough. For the red towel to take this W. Oh, seven to the chat for the warrior and John Q. Congratulations. You are moving up, sir. Next, we have Gabri Chen. This is the picture he posted for me to use. Versus High Hunter. Warlock versus Hunter. No merciless moving up to say hello to Gabri Chen. High Hunter putting that trap down. The duel has started. The dots are ticking. High Hunter. On that clock here. There's that wing clip trying to build the distance as much as possible. But the fear lands and the sacrifice is already up. Gabri Chan is taking no chances to get blasted against the pet. A high hunter just taking so much damage here. Not being able to pressure through. Finally breaks through that shield. And there's that potion being used by high hunter. Doing his best to distance up. But not enough to take the warlock god monsters. And that's round one boys. There is that first. Globals being used. Shield already being popped. He doesn't want to take any chances. And just runs up to not give High Hunter any distance here. And High Hunter is so much pressure. All the dots are taking into a full fear. How will High Hunter recover from this? I'm not too sure. And down. He goes. Oh man. That did not look fun for the Hunter. And GG's. Our last participant for this bracket chat. Now we have Flop versus Brotherwood. It is starting Brotherwood with that shield and inner fire. And there's already the stars dropping from the sky. Brotherwood taking Z damage though. And Mind Blast being casted. Both high health. Oh, a little lag there on the health. Brotherwood now at 50% health. Not looking too hot on mana or health. Flop doing pretty well in terms of managing the health and mana here. Brotherwood doing his best to 
this spell and put a shield up and put some pressure, but Flop not taking any damage here. There's a double dispel using a lot of mana there. He does have some potion available. It's coming kind of close here, but a lot of the Boomkin spells cost one mana. I'm not sure if he's spec into Wrath being free there. It might be using zero mana. There is that first fear being landed by the Brotherwood and Brotherwood recovering a little bit. It'd be nice if you get a drink off or maybe an early mana pot through. Flop with the big heal recovering, but now both zero mana. However, Flop's abilities doesn't use a lot of mana, so he might be able to take him down. Brotherwood using his wands to melt him down. Not sure if this will do any damage. There's a dynamite being used once again. Min maxing. There's a shadow stun proc onto Flop. Both equal health. Flop. On the downside though, the little homunculi is just blasting Flop down and Flop might go down and there's a stun proc once again, brother, we're just wanding Giga Chat. There's a health pop being used by Flop. Homunculi is still beating the shit out of Flop, he might actually flop, but brother, we're taking a lot of damage too, brother, with casting some penance back there. Max ranging, there's a homunculi right next to him, looks like a little gnome. I'm not sure who's gonna take the swim, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's looking pretty damn close here. God damn, how long does the homunculi's last? They're beating the shit out of Flop here. Brotherwood moving up. Another stun proc. Insane RNG by the Brotherwood. There is those wand being casted. And the homunculi's are back up once again. Beating the shit out of him. And Flop goes down. Brotherwood taking the first win. Holy shit. Here we go, boys. The homunculi are still love. The Moonfire is being casted. The Root Entangle as well. He doesn't want to get the fear. Trying to cleanse out of this Roots here. Catching up best he can. There's another Root. Brother, we're taking so much damage here. Flop just pressuring him crazy. Gets enough distance to get that fear off, but shrink it immediately. Brotherwood casting some penance to top off. Mana burns coming through as well, but Brotherwood just taking so much damage. He is willing to risk it, but the max range comes through and he does not land the mana burn. There's a renew and penance combination. He needs to get a shield up or something. There's a potion. He's extremely low in health. Flop is doing much better. This might go to 1-1. One, one. Oh, there is that big heal coming through from brotherwood but brotherwood absolutely tapped out of his mind and he doesn't have any potion there is the fear might as well go for a max distance drink but he's just putting the pressure with the homunculi he's beating the shit out of flop once again here so much pressure being thrown and brotherwood max ranging getting that drink off and flop trying his best to kill the homunculi and all the little gnomes go down and flop stopping that mana into a root Dropping big stars in his dome once again. The cleanse coming through. Brotherwood trying to close the distance. Perhaps get a fear off, but roots are just coming through. And Brotherwood is absolutely tapped in mana. And Brotherwood does go down. Going in a one to one. Who will take the third round? Holy moly. There is the first few dots taking. With the homunculi is blasting and there's the dynamite being used on the homunculi. Flop does know the play now, just instantly killing these little beamers. I'm trying to give you guys a good angle, but this guy keeps following me with the camera, man. I'm not sure where they are now. There they are. And Brother Wood, already 30% health into a root. Big damage, both playing super aggressive. And there is that Wrath into Moonfire. Combination will brother will get the seal off. He does get it off with the shield. Goodness. They just have to pressure hard. Not let one another recover. There's a stun proc. Instant stun. RNG. Brother would kiting away for some reason here. Trying to get some drink off or something. But you will not be able to range a Druid. For Druid has one of the insane yards. There's another stun proc. Frop has zero mana. If Brother Wood gets to put another shield on, he might be able to take this. There's that big mana pop being used by Flop and healing to almost full health. And Brother Wood trying his best to dispel the roots and just completely tapped. Getting that last penance off. I'm not sure if he'll be able to stand this. And there is the Wrath beam combo. And down goes Brother Wood. 07 in the chat. That was a fantastic duel chat. 
fantastic duel by both sides. And Flop taking the win, moving up. All right, two Warlocks, ladies and gentlemen. When you guys are ready, you may place the flag down. Here we go. The duel has started. The Void Walkers are slapping. The life tap is already in. The gnomes are just playing on top of each other. Oni taking the pressure, however, from No Merciless. Both Void Walkers are still available. And Oni just taking the pressure. It does look like Gnome is in the lead here, but he is coming back. The Hellstone is being used and the Dynamite. No Merciless now in the pressure side. He still has his Hellstone available though. He's trying to get the Sphere off, but doesn't get it off. Taking so much damage to that wand combination, interrupting this cast. No Merciless now in the backside. Finally landing that fear. Will he recover? There is that potion being used. And trying his best to get that pressure onto the other gnome. However, Oni just coming through on the top. Another fear being landed. No Merciless might be able to pull this through here. But he's just getting smacked by this Void Walker. He might have to sacrifice it soon here. Oni almost full health now. And down goes No Merciless. No Merciless was in the lead. But he swapped it over. That fear being wanded and interrupted was the downside there. Maybe it's just a play to damage through like Oni did. And round two has started. Both on the dots ticking. With the haunt and drain life. Fear being casted. No merciless trying to get that emulate off, but. Fear distance RNG to the wrong side. Interesting play here. Nice fear on the Void Walker. There's a dynamite being used. Another fear onto No Merciless. No Merciless having to use his Void to sacrifice. He might be on the backside here. And Oni might just take this win. There's that Hellstone still catching on to finish this battle. There's a Hellstone being used. Big two health consumables. Will No Merciless pull this off? He still has a Void Walker though. And a potion. And a Hellstone. Hellstone now being used and no Merciless. Will go down. Oni taking the win. Good duels by both players. Alright, here we go. Noose versus Clegg. Warlock. Noose complaining. He has Mark of the Wild. Clegg cancels it off. Noose is angry. And the duel starts. The bombs are ticking. Noose playing super aggro on his face, now getting that Nova off to cut off that drain life. And Clake using his uh, Swiftness Potion to catch up to him so that he doesn't get that happening. But no life strain available right now. The pressure is going through. Hellstone is being used. And Noose just closing up, spamming Arcane Blast and Nova once again to counter the drain life. And Clake going for that quick little bandage. Evocation being used, maybe just summon another pet and reset, of course. Clegg does have to get a fear off, though. I would try to do my best to get a fear off, but he does have a counter spell. Noose getting down to 50, 40%, 33%. Oh my goodness, Clegg just wanding him down and taking him. And Noose might just go down and down goes Noose. Holy moly. Both starting strong. The dots are being landed. Noose playing super aggro on his face. Blink away instantly to cut that drain life off. There's that dynamite being used. Oh my goodness, Clegg getting super low here. And Noose arcane explosion spamming with the fire just blasting on Clegg's face. Not smart of him to stand there. Noose cutting that drain life immediately once again. Clegg getting that bandage tick. Into a Hellstone. Noose getting super low here. He is getting those Novas off, but no more mana by the Noose. And Clegg just standing strong. And Noose takes the W. What an insane close match. One to one. Noose preemptively using his big heal into a fire ward. And the duel starts. Clegg dotting him up. The curses are being used. The drain life is here. Instant blink out. And Clegg not in the fire this time. No Nova combination coming through by Noose. The wands are coming out. The re-dots must happen soon to put pressure on Noose. Both using dynamites here. 
There is that drain life. Noose having to use that Nova into a blink. And possibly going for a little reset here. Noose is dangerously low here. He's going for that drink. Clay is looking super healthy. He needs to play aggressive before his shield falls off. And I don't think Noose can break through this dot and barrier. And down goes Noose. Clay taking that W. And there it is, gentlemen. All right, here we go. Hunter versus Druid. The Shadow Melt goes through. And Bean on the prowl. There is a rule, though. We have 45 seconds to come out of stealth once in stealth. So we don't have it going forever. But it looks like Bean does find him. And there is that entangling roots with the Wrath cast. Dead zoning so that he's not able to do anything. And the pet is slept as well here. Bean playing kind of crazy. Good management, but John Q builds the distance. Pet still in the me, me, me sleeping mode. And Fat Form now taking so much damage. The pet is out of the sleep. John Q with the potion. And Fat Form going bear form for the bash, but it misses. I'm not sure if Bean can withstand. There's that potion into a rejuve being used. Big stars striking. John Q getting very low here, but both so low and down. Goes fat form, John Q taking the first win. Yeah, that was an insane play. Sleeping the pet, entangling roots, dead zone. I'm not sure if he could have got a second root off before it broke, but it is RNG. It might break fast. There's that trap being used by John Q. Next phase, hunters are going to be more insane using trap in combat now. Dangerous in the PvP play here. And there is that sleep going one more time. And Bean just going for the damage. There is a trinket being used on the stun proc. And Bean is just playing super, super aggro on his face. Not letting him get a cast off. There is a root, but the trinket comes through. The pet is now released out of sleep. Bean going for the hibernate again here with the heals. Will he be able to pull this through? I'm not too sure. Bean closing in. Pet is free. And Bean barely manages to get John Q going in a one to one combat. Holy moly. John Q is dismissing his pet. Oh, he does not want it to get slept. So he's not playing with it out. I I'm liking this play here. Now Bean cannot put it to sleep. And he'll summon it once Bean is out. There is the big damage coming through. And already in a root. Now summoning the pet. Bean going for the hibernate to put it to sleep. Maybe get some heals off. There is a regrowth onto Rejuve. And that root is lasting very long in the favor of Bean here. Another entangling roots with the hibernate coming through. Taking a lot of damage though. Bean might have to pop a heal or a potion. There's that potion from John Q. And the Moonfire being spam. Fat form not having a lot of mana. Concussion stun proc. Not playing the favor for Bean here. Bean let's fucking go with on. the heal. And let's fucking go. Is correct. This is looking very close here. But Fat form with no mana. Trying to dead zone. But not being able to big star surge. Onto John Q's head. And. Fat form takes a W. Oni, Kudaku, Clegg, Fat Man, now Gabri Chan versus Flop. Warlock v Druid. Gabri Chan using and getting Flop out of stealth. Flop getting fully dotted. The sacrifice is being used. And the fear with the life strain combination. The trinket comes through from Flop. Flop doing his best to build the distance to cut this life drain off so he doesn't get full health. But not being able to, he does not manage to cut it through and still get sucked through. And Gabri Chan using Hellstone here with all the dots ticking. It's kind of looking good for Flop here. He's decursing using a mana potion kind of high here. The Drain Life doing his job though, getting that health through and the fear coming. Gabri not looking good on mana. He might have to tap here. He does do a life tap. Flop now in the pushback. Not sure if he has a lot of cooldown here. And he doesn't have the damage to push through this Warlock playing on his face with drain life. 
just staying at 100% health. And the root is being casted. Flop doing his best to cut this drain life off again once. But not enough. And Flop takes a loss. And here we go. Round 2. Flop max distancing. Blasting Gabri Chan's health here. And getting that root early. There's a sacrifice coming through. And the drain life. Will Gabri Chan recover? He does get the fear landed. And he's draining mana here. Straining every single thing he has in his body. And the health being used. Health pot being used by Flop. Both double drain mana and life once again. Gabri Chan just sucking his soul out. And so Flop taking so much damage. I'm not sure if Flop will be able to win this and down. Goes to Flop. Collapse in the chat. Alright, yo. Candy 4 winners. Hop on the call. We'll start with Oni. Oni, are you here? Oni Kudaki? How are you feeling, man? <laughs> what was that? I said, I can't believe I made it to here. I was kind of worried I was going to get one shot by Star Surge. Really? I mean, yeah. you're doing well and you beat the Warlock Mirror match, proving yourself that you are the Warlock. But you have a next matchup versus Clegg. Do you have any game plan or how do you think? It will go. A couple things. I mean, I think it's just going to come down to like who can get the fears off more than the other. Like, hope that fear doesn't break. But I think I'll do good. I think I'll do good. Okay. If you do manage to beat Clegg, do you think you can beat the fat man? I mean, I don't want to say obviously, but like, um, I mean, I think I got a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it three warlocks on the top? It is. <laughs> All right, well, nice talking to you. Yo, good luck. Whatever the outcome, thank you, thank you made you. it pretty far, man. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, thank you. Yep. Can we get Clake up here, chat? Can we get Clake? Clake, do you think you can beat all these warlocks and the fat man? No. <laughs> Where is the confidence? I mean, I don't have expensive expensive potions. Oh. I don't have my tier helmet. So, yeah. Gotcha. You think Bean has expensive expensive uh streamer Benny potions? Of course he has. Damn. Who do you think you will lose to? Uh probably now. Really? Yeah, I guess. Damn. I mean, you played well to move up this far. Where's the confidence, man? I mean, I'm just a realist. That okay. looks like the toughest matter up here, actually. Do you want to give a shout out to your country or anything? No. No? All right. No shout outs to Poland chat. Collect of them. course. I hate them. <laughs> you hate them? <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Well, nice speaking with you, Mr. Clegg. And good luck, all right? I'm going to do my best. All right. Good luck, good luck. Kuruva. Yo, Bean, hop on. How are you feeling, Bean? I'm good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. These duels have been fantastic. That fight versus John Connor, well played, man. I saw you putting the pet to sleep. Yeah. yeah Dead yeah, zoning. Yeah. Great roots. PG. Uh, you can say anything you want, man. Yeah, John Connor's a bitch ass, bro. Whoa, on whoa, G, whoa. baby. On G. <laughs> Fuck John Connor. Fuck John Connor. Fuck the Terminator, bro. <laughs> oh, there it is, chat. Oh my goodness, am I getting attacked? I'm getting attacked by a truck and I'm dead, ladies and gentlemen. Can I get a Beavis or something? <laughs> Bean, how are you feeling about the next matchup versus a Warlock? Oh, yeah, I'm looking at the... um. So I'm looking at the bracket here, right? I'm looking at the top four here, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling really confident. I just watched the duel with Flop. I mean, dude, the guy, I mean, why do you think his name's Flop? Oh. Because he's flopping. Because <laughs> he's flopping. Am I right? Like a Holy. penguin. My, a motherfucking ass. All right. I'm going to slap the hell out of G Gotcha Bobbin. <laughs> uh, 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 my motherfucking ass. And, um,. And that's how I'm feeling, you know. I'm, I'm yeah, Damn, bro, but, hey, this guy probably shaking, bro. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think Gabri Chan <laughs> is like shaking right now? Oh yeah, he, yeah, he, he don't know. 
I mean, you got two Warlocks ahead of you. Are you confident in beating two Warlocks back to back? Oh, Warlocks ain't nothing, bro. What, they, what? All they can do is haunt me, drain life me, dot me, kill oh, me, heal themselves. I mean, we saw, they, they got nothing, bro. We saw every Druid list to Warlock. If you win, being, you might be insane. Yeah, yeah, I got the strat, bro. You, you want, got the you strat? The strat? Uh, I don't think you should say anything about the strat here, but... uh. Good luck. We have Fuzzy. Yeah. Fuzzy in the next call. Fuzzy, you may unmute. Uh, you can talk shit if you want. Uh, Bean was talking shit, of course. Is this the Warlock? Yeah, this is the Warlock. The you guy hear that, motherfucker? I'm gonna fucking knock your <laughs> dick in the ground. You hear me? Really, buddy? You're gonna get fucking dominated, bro. How about you oh, haunt I'm this dick, bro? You Actually, you know what? This dick gonna, gonna haunt you, my buddy. Dick and your huge pussy. Oh my god. Oh I'm my huge <laughs> pussy? <laughs> <laughs> my huge <laughs> pussy? Are you serious? You. Do you hear this shit, Savage? DQ this fattest. He's playing a warlock and he's he's talking about my huge bussy Savix. No, no, no. You're you're oh, talking shit to I think it's not a lot of joins the And what do you mean? <laughs> yo, yo, I'm here to back oh, him up, up Bean. Up? Even though even though Bean was yeah. just talking a bunch of shit. All right. Yeah. Bean no, nobody nobody can be uh talking down on my boy. All right, Bean. You're yeah. probably gonna get shit on right here. But I believe in you <laughs> and you got this, dog. Like you got this. Hey, you definitely Hey, like, thank you, baby. Hey, Frank, you know you know I was you know you know I'm selling the fight. I know what's up. I know what's up. Yeah, this guy's a pussy, you know what I mean? Like Real. I'm gonna oh, show gee. you who the real pussy is later, Bean. Oh All yeah, right. you can't even reach my pussy, bro. Oh, I'm gonna be up in there. Up in nah, there. you can't even reach that. That shit too thick for your thin ass, bro. Look what? at your warlock ass, bro. Hearing you might as well roll him on dead, buddy. Oh, Can we my move God. up? Let's move Sound up. Let's settle this. And uh, I'll see you guys Yo, in the tournament, good luck, boys. Good luck, boys. Uh, fuck you, buddy. Oh, <laughs> shit. We'll get ready. Enough talk. Let's see if they can walk the walk. Here we go. Flop did take one win. There is that human perception being used. Gabri looking for him in stealth. Fat form just hiding so well, unable to be seen. Probably gonna open max ranged. And Gabri just trying his best to sniff him out and there it is. I think the root resisted on him, unfortunately. I did see it being casted. There's the D curse being used and the life drain. Bean will not be able to range it here. Bean taking so much damage and the fear does land the trinket coming through. Bean on the back foot, D cursing once again, getting some heals off much as possible, but he's so low getting a drink off, sitting a full feet, full entangle. There's a swiftness potion being used and catching up to close the gap. And fat form with another root being used, he will be able to range this root. He won't be able to cut this off. And it looks like Bean might go down here, ladies and gentlemen. And Bean taking so much damage. Gabri Chan takes the win. Almost fully health. A lot of shit talking, but couldn't back it up here. Bean also lagging a little bit on my screen. Bean just waiting for the opener. I'm not sure how he brings it home here. I think Flop did win one match. So he might be on the upper hand here. Bean was calling out both and there is the opener. Doing 30% damage already from the start. And Bean doing a fantastic job. Just max ranging. And Gabri Chan. Just letting him do all that damage. He's already 40% health. I feel like Gabri Chan's letting Bean win or something here. Gabri Chan already so low. The Hellstone is used. The Swiftness Potion is used as well. The Root comes through. Drain life, but the Fear won't be able to cut it. The Fear opposite direction, however, and cuts the Drain life. Insane RNG for Fat Form. He might actually take this W if he loses. I think Bean sucks at the game or something. There is the Fear landed once again. Gabri Chan actually throwing, but Bean's still losing somehow. There's a double drain life into D curses. Fat form going for that root. Gabri Chan getting dangerously low on mana. Fat form still has his potion available, but I'm not sure if he knows that. The dots are melting him, slowly rejuving away. There's that D curse. The mana is looking equal here. I'm not sure who will take this win. Gabri Chan's getting pretty low too, but the drain life comes through again here. Bad form with the root wanting to cut that drain life off but won't be able to and Gabri Chan takes a W. Bean. Well fought. And now we have Oni 
Kudaki versus Clegg. Here we go. It is looking like the finals will be Warlock v Warlock. Here we go. Fear immediately being casted onto Clegg, but the resist coming through and Clegg with the fear onto Oni Kudaki. Very unfortunate. RNG for Onikudaki. The life it drains are happening, but Onikudaki just in the foot. Being back, there is that Hellstone being used. Not sure if it would be enough to keep him up here. Clegg just doing so much pressure, weaving that PV rotation in. Farming. Another fear coming through. But it might be triple DR here. Onikudaki wanting to cast a fear too here. And he does get it off. The sacrifice has been used. Clegg still has his pet sacrifice. And there is that sacrifice being traded once again. Clegg and Onikudaki looking dangerously close. Nice shadow procs there. And a big health potion being used. Anyone could take this match here. They're just wanting each other. Health potion by Clegg. And Onikudaki on the higher mana ups. And the fear landing through. Refreshing the whole dot with the life drain coming through here. Insane. Fear being casted once again. It is a battle of the fear. And there's a trinket being used. Clegg turning the fear back. But doesn't get to. Only Kudaki still losing. Managing to get the fear off. And down. Goes Only Kudaki. And Clegg takes the first stub. Alright. You guys may begin. There's a dynamite being used. And the fear landing. But breaks immediately. The life trains are going through. Another fear being cast onto Clegg. Clegg, no trinket available from the last duel. He's sitting the full fear and he's taking so much damage. But will he be able to recover with the life train? I think only Kudaki is in the lead here with the wand combination with the Shadow Brocks. Insane. Hellstone being used, but not enough to keep Clegg up. The pet has been sacrificed. Might be time to spam some fear once again here. And Lifestone being used by Onikudaki. But Onikudaki still has his pet available. Clegg going for a desperate bandage. Maybe a tick or two there. And Life Strain being casted once again. And a fear being used. A big health potion being used by both members. Just Life Strain, Warlock taps. Wands. Dots are melting. Clegg going for the fear. Does land the fear here. But Onikudaki still has his pet up and Clegg is not looking too good in the shape of it. Might go for a one-to-one -one combat here. And indeed, they will go for a one-to-one -one combat. But Onikudaki did use his Voidwalker just before the duel ended. He might not have it up in the third duel. Start. The dynamites are being thrown. Drain life already being casted. Early drain life by Clegg. Only Kudaki a little bit delayed there. But the fear does come through. Covering up for the delay. But only Kudaki in the back foot now. Another fear being used. Both Warlocks. Looking pretty equal now. Clegg returning the fears. The trinket comes immediately. Clegg getting dangerously low here. There is that stone being used. Still have Voidwalker available. Another fear onto the pet. Nice play there. And Clegg trying to get a fear off too, but struggling to get it off from the Voidwalker interrupting it. Down goes Clegg using the sacrifice a little late because of the fear. Ping GG. Clegg is from Poland. Maybe that was the case there. But only Kudaki takes a W. Moving up for the finals versus Gabri Chen. But I think time calls to fight. For the second place, gentlemen. Because there is a prize for third place. Clegg versus Fad Form. Here we go, boys. And Clegg just walking around, waiting for Bean to open up. Bean just taking his sweet time. He might be smoking a boba or something. And there is the opener. Huge distance. Big to catch up on. There's that swiftness potion being used. And a root coming through. Bean using a swiftness to cut this drain life off. Insane plays by both. Clay getting a little bit low here, not being able to get that drain life off. There's a haunt refresh. He still has Voidwalker. There's a Voidwalker onto a drain life. Bean trying to get that root off, gets it. 
Not sure he'll be able to cut it off in time. Clegg recovers so much from that one drain and haunt combination. B not looking too hot on mana. Oh, goes for a quick stealth drink. The tick of the dot grabs him out. Clegg still has a shield available around him. And Bean just taking so much damage. I'm not sure if he'll be able to recover from this. There's a D curse being used and max distance building click charging at him. Bean having a few ticks of that dot left. Goes for a shadow melt. Drink. Reset. Rain of fire being used by Clegg. Not letting him get that reset. Smart play by Clegg there. And there is that root. Bad form just barely living this whole time cutting that drain life once again but three dots are taking i'm not sure if he'll be able to survive this trying to max distance once again to haunt lance bean on the last thread and clegg just chasing him down the dots are taking insanely close match but there is that life stone and clegg taking the first Round insane place by both. Insane place. <laughs> Beans is your pussy fight. Yeah, Beans a little talks here. Friendly fires, of course. All right, here we go, gentlemen. Can Bean bring this back or will Clegg dominate? Clegg playing a different build as well here. Both switching it up. I like what I'm seeing. This is really good to see. Both aware. Of each other. Clegg saw fast form switching to Pharaoh, so now he's playing the meta form. And there is that big suck. I see fast form procking some wind furies, but I'm not sure if it's enough damage to pull this through. Clegg is definitely just owning him. I'm not sure why Bean swapped. Bean now going for the late kill on the pet, but knows he's defeated. And Bean absolutely gets destroyed here. I don't know why he went Pharaoh. I was gonna say he should kill the pet first, being a boomkin. I'm out. Ladies and gentlemen, Bean got absolutely clapped in the lair. And Clegg takes the third place. Boom. And now for the final Oni Kodaki versus Gabri Chan. Let's go. Yo, Oni and Fuzzy are both in here. Yo, Oni, I hope you have. I hope this is gonna be a good duel, man. I'm looking forward to this. I got three warlocks in a row. I feel like <laughs> a cheated, but yeah, it'll, it'll be good. It'll be good. Damn. Yeah, it'll be, this is gonna be fun. All right, both being PPC and respectable. Good luck to both of you guys. Then you may drop the flag when you're ready. And I'm you just glad I beat Bean. Yeah, I'm glad you beat him too. That guy sucks. <laughs> yeah, who that guy? That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, good luck. Alright, Oni and Fuzzy. Warlock v Warlock, boys. Here we go. The Haunt and Dot coming through. Oni. Kudaki not being able to land that fear because Gebri Chan ranged it and there is another range coming through Gebri cutting off that life soul with the swiftness pot playing kind of crazy out of his mind there is a fear onto the pet however both trying to get that fear onto the pet to release some pressure and this is just a fear on fear battle with the life drain kind of min maxi here there's that first sacrifice coming through. Gabri Chan trying to get that fear off. On the Voidwalker, gets it through. He might just kill Gabri Chan, but Gabri Chan staying healthy and alive. There is that life drain being used. And on a fear onto the pet, won't be able to use sacrifice. Gabri Chan trying to weave those fears in and do some damage. Trying to get him low enough. And a shadow bolt being casted. Might have been the misplay there. And Gabri Chan takes the first loss. Onikudaki. Taking the first. Those are some great plays. Not bad at all. Alright. The dots are applied. Gabri Chan max distance. And getting that fear onto the pet. Insane strategies are being played here. Onto the drain life. Trying to get a fear onto Oni Kudaki. 
but Gabriel Chan getting that fear off into an insane suck. The whole fear duration going through, not breaking, might have been an insane RNG. Another fear being cast onto Gabriel Chan. Not looking too hot here. There's a big potion being used by Gabriel Chan into a triple fear now. It's time for Gabriel Chan to fear. Fear onto the pet there. There's that health stone being used. I mean, health potion being used by Onikudaki. But Gabriel Chan, no more cooldowns left here. There's a drain life into health candy into another full duration fear onto Gabriel Chan. It's not looking too good for Gabriel Chan. Gabriel Chan trying to get that fear off. Another fear off onto the Void Walker. And Onikudaki is um, but I'm not sure if Gabriel Chan has the damage. To pull this through, the wand game is coming through. And the Void Walker is sacrificed. Onikodaki takes the win. GG, brother. Slash bow. Big respects to the player, Shet. And there it is. The Battle of the Warlocks. Great fear juggles. There was a bit of RNG on the fear as well. But chat, round of applause. Onikodaki taking first. And Gabriel Chan taking the second place. Congratulations. I will DM you guys for the prizes. And Onikodaki, Gabriel Chan, everybody, thank you for coming. And thank you for the audience for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was really fast, by the way. The tournament went. A lot quicker than I thought. I'm glad it did. There was no turtle. No crazy resets. That was great. I hope you guys enjoyed. Another shout out to all the fighters. Great fights.